Hey folks, Dad here with Elevation Diecast Racing. We're going to bring you some lunchtime laps. We got a track temperature of 76 degrees, and today we're going to be checking out another iTrophy or E Trophy, I Pace E Trophy. We're going to run them up against the 62 Corvette Gaster. Of course, we'll run them out of the pack, see how they do. And then we're going to run another E Trophy against an 84 Mustang SVO. Looks like some JKs. Then in our final race, we're going to take a look at some classics. The 1969 Mercury Cougar Eliminator. Taking on the custom 1967 Pontiac Firebird. I'm expecting some speed out of these cars. Let's hope they do well. All right, so this will be the seventh I trophy taking the lane here and the first Mustang SVO of this colorway. Let's see how they run. Man, 2122 is not a bad time out of the pack. Let's see how they run solo. 2121 and for the Mustang. 2149. Let's get these guys over to the speed shop. All right, let's see if that Mustang can improve on that 2149. 2133. 2144. And let's take a look at the E Trophy. That thing's flying. 2126. Hmm. Two, one, two, three. I was expecting a way different result than that. Two, one, three, oh. Hmm. So, <laughs> Speed Shop had a reverse effect on this one. And that's, that happens sometimes. Let's race them up against each other and see what they do there. Maybe they just need another few laps to get the graphite working. Mustang's running a little better. 2130 by the E Trophy. 2131. He still gets him by five thousandths. So we'll set him over here and roll to the next one. And this Corvette. Let's see what happens. Yeah. Let's see what the Jaguar does. Not itself. 2129, it gets down there. Looking for one of these Jaguars to hit sub 210. 2129. See what this vet does. It's actually a pretty smooth roller. I'm hoping he reacts well. Let's get him over to the speed shop. Alright, let's get a solo run from Jaguar number 8. 2125, a 4000 improvement. Jeez. I think my lanes have switched up. Now this one's the fast one. Lane number two. 2125. So, hmm. And let's take a look at the Corvette. I still think it's going to take three and a half minutes to get down there, but let's find out. Actually rolled pretty decent. 2137. That's pretty fast for a gasser. Gassers usually do not translate to speed on the quarter mile drag strip. Two, one, three, four. Not too bad. Let's roll the Corvette and the number eight Jaguar against each other. This might be a good race. It was a good race. Two, one, three, four to a three, six. Jaguar by two thousandths. And he'll get him at the end. Two one two nine to a three six. Alright, last up in this series is the 38.8 gram Cougar. We'll see what he runs solo. Ah, look at him go. Two one six nine. Hmm. 38.8 Firebird. Let's see if this Firebird's got some speed. Nah. Two one five two. 
let's get these guys over to the speed shop. All right, so if we're just going on looks, I think this Firebird has it hands down with compared to the Cougar and the SBO and the Corvette and the Jaguar. I just think that thing is super sharp. What do you think? Let's see what this Cougar does down the track. Not too bad, but none of these times are jumping out at me. You know what I want to see? If it's getting into the case, it better be running at least a sub 211. That one looks good. 2107. Now we're talking. 2107 is a good run. Ooh, 2104. Look at him go. I think we might have found a fast one, boys. And girls, if there's any girls watching. Pontiac Firebird, 38.8. Ooh. Let's roll him against the Cougar, just to make it official. Oh, yeah. Good race. Let's see which one of these E-Trophies is faster. Number seven or number eight? Close race. Number eight got a 2130 and a 3,000 speed. Hmm. So number eight. Is the faster out of those guys. And over to the wheel collection we go. Down there. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's roll him up against the Firebird. These are our two fastest cars of the day. Let's see who's eating dust for lunch. Oh, bye-bye, electric boy. <laughs> and this Jaguar is going to the dump. So since we got the 31 to 40 weight class already recalibrated, let's roll him and see where he sits. All right, hmm, two, he's running a 2104. Let's try him up against that. Camaro. You gotta like seeing some modern speed. It's about time. We find a fast one, right? Oh man. Hey, that's not a that's not bad. 2110 and a 2000 speed. <laughs> Are you seeing that? Let's roll them again. 2099 and a 10,000 speed. By the Camaro. He won't get the speed, but he'll get the beat. We'll roll him up against the pocket bikester. He gets him. 2-1-1-0 to a 1-2. Ah, the bikester will get him. Ha! Huh. 2 one oh two. Let's see if he can take out this super bird. He does. 1 2 to a 1 7. So, one thing I can say about this Firebird is he's consistent. And he is a fast little car. 2 109 to 1 3. He will get him. So, that is. That's saying something for a modern casting to get into the case, um, especially on day one of getting out of the pack. So, if you see this Firebird in the store, Pick him up, he could be fast. And that's what it'll look like. All right, that's all I got for this edition of Lunchtime Laps. We are yet to get Isaiah to start picking a team with old dad. I think tomorrow might be that day. And stay tuned. Later on tonight, it's the Chase Family Racing taking on Elevation Diecast Racing. We got the Chase Family Racing camping out at Elevation Diecast Racing Campgrounds.
it's going to be three modified cars and two stock cars. We're going to weigh them up and put them up against Elevation's Best and see who comes out the winner. Stay tuned. Channel versus channel is coming up later on tonight.